Well, hey everyone, and today I was wondering about putting some uh, mud flaps on this trailer. Um, don't think it looks right without. So what I've done is I've searched through my pile of spares and I've come up with some old, very old and weathered um mud flap hangers and i've come across some very old white mud flaps um not sure whether to go for white or for black but um mm -hmm. we shall see first of all i'm gonna I'm going to cut some black ones out, so I'm not sure if these are going to be um, long enough. If I put them right on the edge of the frame, they're going to come down to about there, which is about an inch and a half off the floor. I don't know if they need to be any lower. They're just behind the lights. I have got some um, rubber that um, I used to do the um, snowman bumpers. So what I'll do is I'll get a blade. I'm just going to Let's get that down here. So, just going to roughly cut these out. Um, I might make them half the width again. You can always cut more off if needs be. So, we might have some longer black ones. Let me get that off there. Um, I don't know if I like those or those. They're going to have to go right on the end. Tell you what, let me punch out some holes. To see which ones I'm going to be going for. Right. Let's see if they um, look okay. one on each first so I don't know whether to go for black or white long or short but we shall see I have all the brackets for this. So this is just a temporary um, fix. Right, let's get one through that. some treats coming up for you um, yep 
yeah I've got some treats coming up for you I've had some uh, company manufacturer in that there China send me some sound systems and some light systems so they've uh, asked me to review them I've said yes send me your stuff and uh, I'll have a look at it that didn't go too well because I've just split the rubber maybe I've gone too close to the edge or just too rough it's going to get clamped in behind that stainless steel strip anyway So that's going to be screwed on there like that, which <laughs> hmm. or a slightly longer um, black one. No, I don't like that one. So it's going to be a no for the black. Sorry. If you like the black, let me know. But I personally don't like it. So I'm going to make these up. Take the bumper off the back, drill, tap and bolt. As easy as that. Oh. Um, don't like that side, don't like that side, so that can go on there. I think what I'll do is I'll put the nut side of it. So it's behind that rear light. Right, let me just um, get these on. You can't see a thing. Let me just get these on and uh, I will be right back. And as quick as that, they're done. So let's get rid of that. And let's get this apart. So let's get you up a little bit. Now, I have thought just about removing this off the brackets, but that would mean have to poke through those so I'm just going to try and undo those which I can should have just um, flanged nuts on the inside we get rid of that Why isn't that then coming up? Does it not want to play? So 
that is that. Let's get rid of those before we lose them. So that's all those. Right. Do I have any slack? No, I don't. So think it matters because we need to be right on that bottom corner of this um, trailer frame rail so punch. I wonder if that will fit through. Press on too hard because it's just going to end badly. Two point five millimeter main bit, and then a M three tap. getting warm right that's on there get that straight
I don't use any kind of oil. I just get stuck in. Just get stuck in. That's the way we do it. Sake. I'll put the other one in first, shall I? It's Sunday morning and I've had six hours sleep since Friday. Several cups of coffee. Now, that's um, that's one side. Let me go do the other side. So okay, they are on. Let's stick these wheels back on and. Uh, that bumper back on as well. Yeah, th this box trailer comes with um, chrome fenders and hate the things, hate them. They're just too flash and they're just annoying to me anyway. for the fiddly bit let's get this back on I will be getting in touch with uh, Michelle at Crawler Concepts to get some license plates made up for this and the truck um, I ended up making my own from um, sheet Aluminum, sheet aluminium. Um, they look okay, but they're not as good as the ones from Crawler Concepts in Canada. So I will be contacting her pretty soon when I've uh, finished doing what I'm doing. With other things in life, I've um, just bought some flight cases to store these in, and I'm going to put some lights in them. And then I don't have to take them out of the cases when. That's really not playing the game now. Well, they come out easy, but they don't go back in easy. Ah, let me just want to swear at some things when. Patience, 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 patience. I might have made that gap a little bit smaller. Because I 
this is the wood traps now. So I'm gonna get in there. I'm gonna pause. Yeah, I think that looks okay. They're about an inch, 20 centimetres, 25 centimetres off the floor. So yeah, pretty, pretty snazzy. Pretty snazzy. Right then, let me show you what I've got in mind. So okay, coming up in some next videos um these things they're brilliant they're great and they come alive um when you add lights and add sound to them um so i was contacted by a company in china called gt power and they've asked me if i would review some of their products and of course I said yes because they sent me a pile of goodies. So of course I am going to review them. We have a car engine sound system. Looks pretty basic, looks pretty easy to set up. And a nice uh, C60 Pro intelligent balance charger with an app. So I'm going to test the hell out of that and we have the Bluetooth version of um, the lights which you just use for it's not a trailer connection this is just something that you can control with from your light so we'll get that under review then we have the trailer light um, Bluetooth system um, that, that connects between the tractor and trailer and they very kindly sent me the their version of the multifunction control unit it is um, almost identical to the Tamiya one but this one looks to have some switches some gubbins it has an app to control it and that looks pretty interesting so yeah happy to uh, go through all those and this seems to be a popular radio now very good budget around 50 pounds UK pounds maybe 60 65 US dollars um, I've got a load of springs coming so I'm going to do the spring return uh, video for this I'm going to show you how to set this up for the multifunction control units so yeah i just bought that to uh, do some videos and while i'm on the subject of sound systems i'm going to do a little um thing with the sense ess dual plus have this in my crawler very nice sounding unit and you can program your stuff and to test this i'm going to use these shorty packs which I've just purchased two of those and I bought this for a different project which is just a nickel metal hydride battery for 200 and what am I going to use to bench test all of this I hear you ask well quite simply I have been working on a test board so battery input from here speed controller receiver um, motor and three servos just standard Futaba 3003 and the newer version which is the SU300 and the little um, Spectrum SX107 um, but yeah so I can put that on there wire it in get my radio and where is my radio it's over here in the window and uh, yeah that is uh, that 
that's on test board just a quickie on this one on the boy too much and power switch just here and uh, I could zoom in zoom in Mm. So I was thinking of putting some, um, putting a power meter on here to measure voltage input, um, so we know what voltage is going in. And I was going to do another voltage meter here. I've ordered those as voltage output. Um, rather than keep plugging stuff in and out of the receiver I've ordered two little breakout boards which I'm going to put here but we'll go through all that in another video so yeah make sure we stay tuned for that um, because this is going to have a lot of products on, on it um, mainly from these guys GT Power and uh, we're going to test the living daylights out of things. This is a little um, shorty pack that uh, we're going to review and use for the uh, thing. Um, I did have a thing somewhere. Don't like Dean's, so I'll be changing that to EC3 and uh, yeah going to uh, do a bit of testing and to do that I need to make up quite a few leads so XT60s uh, twin bananas but they are the ones that are connected because I don't like these sort because if you've got a battery connected these can still touch I much prefer these ones that uh, space that out just so they'd fit in just like that got some more of those got some EC3 Y connectors um, yeah got a lot of stuff Tamiya's Tamiya connectors um, balance board so yeah I'm going to tidy all that mess up and we'll start testing some of this GT stuff so anyway yeah make sure you uh, click that subscribe button so you see them when I upload them and I'll get onto that almost straight away so thanks for watching